hello hello welcome back to my channel this is my august 6th background page that i'm going to be doing and i'm going to do it kind of backwards because unless i wanted to wait like 24 hours and 24 hours to be able to do everything else to it i don't really want to do that so what i'm going to do is i have this stamp from the dilutions uh 4x4 backgrounds I believe it's just called 4x4. And you can use any background stamp that you want to. It doesn't have to be this one. But I also am going to take my archival black soot. And I'm just going to ink up my stamp really well. And I'm just going to go in random spots with it. Now that it's had drying time, I'm going to be taking the Dilusions um, Martha's Most Massive Map, and I'm just going to place it on there, kind of centering it a little bit. Like so. And then I am going to take my black Posca paint pen, and I'm just going to outline all of it, everything that is there. So right now it looks like a very confusing hot mess, but I'm hoping it's going to turn out the way that I want it to. I don't know. I've never done it this way before, so we'll see. The next step I'm going to do is in these circles that would actually be this part of the stencil, I'm going to go in with my black Fosca pen and I'm going to fill those in completely um, and go from there. Now, the reason I did the stamping first is because sometimes whenever you use your black Posca pen and you stamp over it, you can see the stamping. And I don't want to be able to see that. That's why I put them behind. But I'm going to go ahead and jump to that and I'll be right back because this is going to take mm, quite some time.
So, by the power of editing, that showed to, it went by really quickly. However, because I was too lazy to get up and walk all the way down to the main level of my house into my other craft room and get a thicker Posca paint pen, I used the 1MR and it took me 15 minutes just to color in these circles. However, this is the next thing that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to let this dry up for just a couple minutes while I explain because I've had a couple people message me and ask like what I use whenever I color in my um, images for shadowing and whatnot. So this is the easiest way for me to explain it to you. I'm going to grab these really quick. Start from lightest and work your way to the darkest. So say, for me, this is almost always how I do my shadowing. If I'm using pure sunshine as my base color, squeezed orange is what I want for my shadowing because it's the next step up. And then from squeezed orange, I go to tangerine dream for shadowing and then if I use Tangerine Dream as the base I use Fiery Sunset. If I use Fiery Sunset as the base I use Post Box Red because it is the darkest red and the brightest at the exact same time. Um, and for Post Box Red I'll use Pomegranate Seed which this actually ends up becoming a brownish color like a really deep wine color on top of the Post Box Red but that's the next step up. However, just to be honest with you, if you don't want to try to remember that, any of these colors whatsoever, you can use Desert Sand and shadow it, but it is going to make it a brown shadow, and that's it. So my thoughts for this page, or this background at least, is, and that's just the brights, or the warms. That's not including the pinks, because to me, I kind of put them in a whole separate category. Um, but what I want to do is in each one of these open sections, I'm going to use my inks and color them in. And that's why I wanted to put the stamping on first and then the Posca pen because I didn't want to have to wait. Had I put the ink on the page first, for one, it wouldn't turn out the way that I want it to turn out. And for two, I would have had to await to put the paint pen on top of the inks because otherwise it would have ruined my paint pen.
Okay, now to decide what to put in the back. So here, what I might do though, is that might be where I go in with the post box red and the pomegranate seeds. That is what I have came up with. Now it is a very, very, very busy background. And if you look, I did have some bleed through, but that's okay, I'll work with that tomorrow. I'm not gonna worry on it. It's not gonna bother me in the least bit away. However, because this is such a busy background, my images, oh goodness, there goes the ink, are just going to be in the black and white because that being so bright in the background this is going to make this just pop right off however i'm going to do very minimal images too because i worked very hard on this and i'm not like super super ecstatic with it and i'm still debating i'm thinking about going around and just doing my stitching border around the circles to add this ivory color in and I might try it because if I don't like it I'll just go over it with um, the black paint again so let me try that real quick and see what I get There we go. I think I like the stitches on there because it also pulls in the creamy color of this page or this image. Like I said, it's going to be a very minimalistic image um, because if you have like the Dilusions diary stickers, she has little circle images. You could put those inside of those in different random places. For me, I actually have um, 
on my Canon Ivy Click, I have a certain paper that cuts, prints the images on little circles, sticker circles, and I'm gonna put pictures of my puppies on and then write about it here. Um, I don't have them printed out right now. So I know this is kind of a weird, unfinished page it seems. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and I'm gonna stick it down right here. I kind of feel like it needs to go up higher. I'll probably stick it down right about there. And then that's it. That is my whole background. Like I said, the reason I started with the stamping in the first place is because I wanted to not be able to see the stamped images over the Posca pen as well as I wanted to be able to put my Posca pen down and then do my coloring on top. It is a lot of work, but honestly, I like it. They almost look like little globes that are um, jumping off of this red background, if that makes sense. So, I hope in some way that this page gives you some kind of inspiration. Um, it is a lot of work, but sometimes putting in the work gives a better result. And you may not like this background look. You know, it is what it is. Um, you don't have to use the warms colors. You could use the pinks, the purples, and or the cools. They would even look cute. Um, or you could just do the entire rainbow, which would be really, really cute on a page. I never even thought about that. But this is it, guys. So until the very, very next time, I thank you so, so, so very much for watching. I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.